This is Scott the Fix-It Guy. Our goal with our videos is to empower you to be able to do the repairs on your own and save a whole lot of money and also get that great feeling of having fixed it by yourself. Today we're going to be fixing an ever hot, ever hot water faucet that's leaking and we're going to be using a special kit to repair the leak. It's pretty easy to do. And the kit's only about $30. Here's a picture of the parts that come with it. But the new faucet is like $350, so it's really wise to be able to repair it. And first thing I'll do is turn off the water going to the faucet and we'll make sure it's fully off underneath the sink. And then I'm going to test that by opening up the hot and cold side and then I'm going to use the Allen wrench that comes with the kit and I'm going to turn this little Allen screw behind the faucet and this is what's holding the metal um, faucet part in position. They also make a very similar one that's uh, made of plastic. Same thing though, you have to remove the Allen screw and you can lift up on that metal tube, that faucet tube, and you can pull it off of a uh, plastic tube that runs inside of it. And that's an important first step. So we turn off the water, we undid that screw, and then we pulled that tube off. And the kit comes with um, some new O-rings. So we're gonna pull the old O-rings off of the uh, faucet tube you can pry them off like with a little screwdriver would help or anything that can kind of get in underneath them. And there's two of them. There's three rings or grooves that you think would fit O-rings, but you only want to put the new O-rings in the last two grooves, the ones closest to the bottom of that faucet tube. The one at the top is actually like a set a groove for the screw that holds the faucet in position, so we don't want an O-ring on that one. So once we get those off, we'll clean it up a little bit, we'll slip the new O-rings on, and then once we get the new O-rings on, we'll put the uh, first one on and the second one will kind of roll over it into the second groove, add a little soap to that so it makes it um, able to turn better. And then looking at the directions that come with the kit, it says that what we have to do next is take out a little pin and then push, this is the hot side, push this forward toward the plastic tube by about a quarter of an inch and we can lift it off. But you have to take out that little pin. You can actually use the Allen uh, wrench is just the right size to push that pin out. On the plastic model, there is no pin holding it on. You can just push the lever in toward the uh, plastic faucet tube by about a quarter inch and lift it off. But on the metal one, you gotta pop out these little pins. So we push it in, pull it off. And next thing I'll do is reach in and unscrew a little round piece on top of both the hot and cold. It's a little round barrel made of brass so we're going to unscrew those lefty loosey on both sides get them off and then there's a special tool that comes with the kit it's pretty cool you put it in on top of the valve and then using a standard head screwdriver you go lefty loosey you can unloosen this brass seat this thing that's holding the valves in position so once you Get that off, you can pull the old valve stems out. And we're just going to discard them because the kit comes with new ones that already have new O-rings fitted to them. So the next thing we want to do is turn on the uh, water pressure a little bit to flush out any contaminants just for about half a second, just to push out any junk that might be in the barrel there. And we're going to dry that out. Now we can put the new valve stems in and we don't have to coat them they already come with a little bit of a lubricant so you can just push them right in and then after you push them in it comes with new brass um, seats and those seats go in on top and then we're gonna uh, 
push them down in with that tool that comes with the kit and then we're going to turn righty tighty with our standard head screwdriver. So the seats go on there first and you put the chrome tool above it and then you put your screwdriver on there and push down a little bit about a sixteenth of an inch push down and turn and then keep turning until it's fairly tight and that's going to give a watertight seal and keep that valve down in, in position with the brand new o-rings so the next thing we do is we put those little brass barrels back on and they just go on with finger finger tight actually you're not even going to get them tight you're just going to screw them on righty tighty there's two size barrels that come with the kit and for most of these applications you want to use the bigger size for the hot and the big for the cold and you're going to screw them on just put them on by hand and then you want to leave them so that the barrel which is kind of a looks like a elongated barrel um, on the hot and the cold side is not all the way down as far as it can go but maybe sixteenth of an inch gap between the bottom of that brass barrel and the valve stem and that's going to give you room to be able to slide those levers back on you may need to do this procedure a couple of times to get the adjustment just right on how far those brass barrels go down on the stem so once you have that you're going to slide the levers back on you're going to push them in close to the plastic tube and we're going to slide them back on. Just getting this, getting that faucet piece ready. So the last two here, that's where you want the O-rings. All right, I got these little barrel, brass barrels ready to accept the levers. The levers have a slot in them that the barrel fits into. So here's the hot side. I'm going to push it on first and then pull back toward me. That locks it on. And I should be able to get this to go up all the way vertical. If it won't go up all the way vertical, you should take that brass barrel and unscrew it a little bit. Unscrew it a few turns and try it again until you can get that lever to go straight up. So doing the same thing on the cold side. This is the only kind of difficult part of this procedure is to try to get those little brass barrels to be the right distance between the bottom of the barrel and the faucet. And if you get it right, you should be able to lift up on the lever and the lever should stay in the locked up position. Once you have it, you're going to push those pins back in that hold it and maybe use a pair of pliers to push the pin all the way in flush. And I'm gonna, the pin has a, a smooth side and a rough side. I'm going to put the smooth side in first. And I'll use a pair of pliers to just push it a little bit further to make it flush. So this is going to save you a whole lot of money. Instead of $307 for a whole new kit, you can repair this. And it's only going to be about 30 bucks. So now we're going to put the metal faucet back on. And again, some of these are plastic. Some of these kits are uh, same model but plastic. We're going to push it all the way down in and we're going to tighten that set screw on the back. That's what holds on that uh, faucet spout. And we want to get it not too tight because if it's too tight you won't be able to turn that faucet but get it down to where it's almost that tight to hold it on there. And then once you have that in position, you can go ahead and turn the water back on and give it a test. Make sure that the leak's gone. So I'm reaching and turning full pressure again. By the way, if your house pressure coming in, the water exceeds 70 psi, it can make this system fail. So if, even after doing this, if you still have a leak, it's possible that um, you just have too high of a pressure coming into the system. 
but most homes don't have that high of a pressure. So we're just cleaning it up with a toothbrush, make it look nice, and we are done. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for watching our video. We really appreciate your support. And when you get a chance, please press the subscribe button below so you can be subscribed and also the notification bell so we can send you more videos about appliance repair. Please also give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. If you really liked the video and it really helped you, please press this new applaud button and you can show your support and also get a nice clapping hands for your video. Thanks again.